We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back in Holland. He gone ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identities to none other than Blood Bath Bay. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. The cruise over gave us some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He'd made a fortune looting undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, but his precious diving gear as well. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper vault. That Bentley, always thinking. I didn't think pirates could get that old. Thought scurvy would get them or something. Don't lower your guard for an instant. All pirates are killers, plain as that. And they don't trust outsiders at all. How's your pirate accent? Arr, I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Joke all you want, but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust. Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure! I, But I won't chatter with the likes of you on so blessed a subject. Get out of me sight, landlubber! All my years I only spoke of the golden kindness with me partner. Can't tank on a stem. Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, whole lover! I'll cork it and be cut the hard on my tonsils, I assure you! Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. It's clear to get anywhere with the old coot. We'll need to fool him into thinking that you're cantankerous Tim. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever meet. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. That'll do the job, matey. Stone Jake has a thing about monkeys. If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor. What? 
be that monkey? Ha ha! I've got you now! Filthy banana eaters! Monkeys! Primate dogs! Pretty monkeys! Nice work. I've already got a bead on the second lieutenant. He's in motion near the overturned boat. There's the second lieutenant. You need to steal his peg leg. Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of... harsh? You'll need it for the costume. It's very unique. Look, what you need to worry about is getting past his bodyguards. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. Closing in. Stay awake. Keep your wits about your head. Stay sharp. Yes. Sharp as an axe. Sharp as a pin. Sharp as a pack. Sharp as a... Uh, Got it. Ah! Oh, I know it. It is true. An Asian of Tim's come for revenge. Chase him down. He's got Tim's hat. Take that, scallywag! Avast! You won't take me! I love to give you pops. Avast there. You've got me with me back to the sea. I yield. I just wanted your hat. Me hat? That's what this be about. Take the moldy cut of cloth and away with you. Oh, 
cantankerous steam. Your back, your two face, Calloway. Aye, matey. And not to be rude, but let's talk of treasure. Arr. How about a round of vinegar talk first, you baboon face toilet? I've read about this, Sly. It's customary for pirates to engage in insult competitions. Just make sure you never repeat anything that's already been said. You take the first broadside, shipmate. You're a bleating, cross-eyed angerhead. That be true enough, but you're a parrot-loving, toothless cabin boy. Oh yeah? You're a mumbling, twisted bag of vomit. <laughs> but methinks you're a stupid, scurvy-ridden waste of skin. You're a marooned, knuckle-dragon cow pie. Ha! Ah, you swear like a child. You're a cricket-sized, barnacle-backed piece of filth. Oh, really? You're a pig-breathed, pus-faced whale fart. That be true enough, but you're a donkey-eared, grog-abusing sack of maggots. Are a idiotic, yellow-bellied slobber. Ha <laughs> ha! Cantankerous Tim, it must be you. Forgive this old sea dog and his sunburnt eyes for not recognizing you straight away. I've never met a man on land or sea that could curse half as well. Tell me, shipmate, why after so long away do you drop anchor now? I've come for me share of the treasure we stole years back from that Remé Lousteau fella. Twas a good haul, that. Uh, speak of it while drunk often. <laughs> you and I burying the loot in the belly of Dagger Isle. Oh, and many a year I kept the map to the treasure hidden, safe as a swaddling babe. Arr, then let's have it. High time we dug up our retirement and lived as lords. It shames me fierce to tell you, shipmate, but I lost my galleon in a game of cards. And worse yet, the map was stolen by that terror, Captain Lefui. What? <clears throat> what? I'd have run him through with my cutlass before giving up so treasured a parchment. This Lefui's no ordinary buccaneer, no. He's earned the reputation as the smartest man on the seven seas. The devil lives in yonder keep. Tis there you'll find the map, and for death as well. If you go for the treasure ship, mate, you go alone. Me see fair days of law behind me. Thank you, Pete. You've been a good friend. Aye, and you're still a skinny, malodorous, hairy palmed bottom feeder. <laughs>
Penelope and I will work together to break into Laquise Keep and steal the map to the buried treasure. Once both objectives are reached, we'll steal a ship and set sail for Dagger Island. Then it'll be a simple matter of following the map and digging up the loot.